anybody, uh, anybody know what time it is? Uh, I got 420. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you can make a, a whole Cheech and Chong routine out of Jack's uh, 420 moments and all his different books. So I thought since we're doing a show at this sacred moment, we got to tap into that well. From on the road, when they're down in Mexico at the end. Presently, Victor's tall brother came ambling along with some weed piled on a page of newspaper. He set it on Victor's lap and leaned casually on the door of the car to nod and smile at us, hello. And Dean nodded and smiled pleasantly at him. Nobody talked, it was fine. Victor proceeded to roll the biggest bomber anybody ever saw. He rolled using brown bag paper uh, what appeared to be a tremendous Corona cigar of tea. It was huge! Dean just stared at it, pop-eyed. <laughs> Victor casually lit it and passed it around. To drag on this thing was like leaning over a chimney and inhaling. <laughs> it blew into your throat in one great blast of heat. And we held our breath. <laughs> I let it out simultaneously, and instantly we were all high. And the sweat froze on our foreheads, and I, I looked out the back window of the car, and there's the strangest of Victor's brothers, a tall Peruvian of an Indian with a sash over his shoulder, leaning, grinning on a post, too bashful to come up and shake hands. It seemed the car was surrounded by brothers, uh, for another one appeared on Dean's side. Then the strangest thing happened. Everybody became so high that usual formalities were dispensed with and things of immediate interest were concentrated on. And now it was the strangeness of Americans and Mexicans blasting together on the desert. And more than dirt, the strangeness of seeing in close proximity the faces and pores and skins and calluses of fingers and general abashed cheekbones of a whole other world. Jack and Neil, 420 in Mexico. Apparently you're all supposed to vote.